Do you want to know how to select a specific color in an image? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the eyedropper tool in Photoshop and how to select a specific color. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I found an image right here and let's say I want to find a specific color. So let's zoom in on our image right here. And let's say we want to get this orange red color right here. Then you want to go into your tools panel over on the left side of the screen and just press on this eyedropper tool right here. Now you can go over to the color you would like to select and just press on it. And let's say we want to get this color right here. And just like that, if we find the color panel right here, we have now selected that specific color. And we can actually double click on this and we can see the hex code for that specific color. You can also see that in the tools panel at the left right here. And here you can also double click and find the specific color. And we can actually copy this color by holding Ctrl and C. Let's press OK. And let's say you want to create some kind of graphic element using that color. Let's create a circle right here. and in the fill, we can copy the color right here. And the color we selected is now in use in this object right here. And this works with any color you can think of. Let's try to find a specific color in this sign right here. You can just press again. Make sure to select the eyedropper tool and just press. And it has now found that specific color in that pixel. If you would like to save a specific color, you can also Double click on this again and choose add to swatches right here and we can give it a name and let's call this orange color and you can just press OK and OK. Now you can go into your swatches panel and you will find the color you have saved. And that is how you use the eyedropper tool to find a specific color in an image. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment down below what video we should do next time. That was all from here. See you in the next one.